Hi, welcome to another edition of Sports Inc. Today we're going to bring to video our first of our newest segment in the paper, Point Counterpoint. That's where Scott and I kind of battle up and go head to head on hot topics. This week we each wrote about should college athletes be paid. I said they should, he said they said they, they shouldn't. Scott, take it away for the opening point. Well, when you're making uh, 100000 ever in four years at least, just in scholarships alone, you're getting it paid for, you don't have debt coming out of college, that that's pretty much getting paid right there. You're getting paid by schooling. If you don't like it, then don't go to school. Go and play in the NBDL. Go do this or that. If you're in football or whatever, go overseas. If you don't like the way it's set up, then don't complain about it. There's plenty of people out there that love what they do and love to play the sport, and they're going to do it. They would do it for free if they wanted to, and that's that's how I like. That's why I like college sports is because they do it for the love of the game, not for the money, and that's that's the way it should stay. But you went to college, I went to college. I love college. I had a great time. Hanging out with friends, going out for a burger and a beer. That was a Looks great like you had a good time. <laughs> that was a great time of my life. These kids don't have that opportunity. I was able to go to college, work for the student paper, where I had a job and I was paid and I was able to bring money in that I could have, you know, to ha- on hand to go out and have a good time. These athletes have practice and, and study tables and school. They don't have time to have that job. Whether or not they should be paid or not, you know, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave that for debate. I believe they should be paid. They bring in billions to the university. They should be paid. However, if not paid, they so at least need access to money. You're going you're gonna to pay them and you're not going to pay the pay the gymnasts or the, the track team because they don't bring in the money, so you're just not going to pay them. So they do just as much work as the football players do, but all of a sudden their scholarships are worth a lot less and their importance to the university is worth a lot less and it's because football players make this money? Yes, their importance is a lot. I mean, a mid-level manager at a Fortune 500 company or a mid-level manager at a you know a mom-pa shop you know down the street, those two people might both put in 80-hour weeks, but I guarantee you that Fortune 500 guy makes a lot more money. Why? Because he brings in a lot more money. So that and that's just how that's just the, the way of the world. These college athletes are supposed to be in school in college. Title IX is not going to allow that. But to they're it. supposed to be prepared for. I'm not saying women versus men. I'm saying upper sports versus lower sports. Men's football versus men's track. Men's men's rugby. That's the same thing. Title IX. Women's, women's basketball is not going to bring in the money to to sit there and pay the the players. So. Oh, well, if you bring it in, then that's when you get it. So that's you know that. But for more of that, if you guys go ahead and pick up the, up the Bugle Enterprise Sentinel this week, you can read a lot more from what Scott and I have to say.